the message is HR is not about HR. Now let's go to the next. So given all of that, what does it take to be a great HR professional? Beyond knowing the business, how do I be successful? I want to provide some context around HR competencies and then some details around strategic positioning. In competencies of HR, we have studied this since 1987. And in fact, I encourage you to, if you have a chance to, I hope you'll get on LinkedIn. I just uh, published a week ago an article that shows the evolution of HR competencies, how those competencies have evolved over 30 years. In the last round of data, we collect the data on 123 competencies. And if you notice on the right-hand column, we have about 4,000, 3,900 HR people having others, about 28,000 other people reporting on their competencies. Here's what we found. In the world today, there are nine domains of HR competence. That's the 123 items that we study. At the top, HR professionals have to be good at the strategic enablers that help us connect with business, managing culture and change, human capital. And we use the word curation. It's not just managing people. It's like a museum curator who nourishes and helps the people. In marketing, the word curation is what people do with their brand and total rewards. Those three confidence domains help us build and connect with strategy. Along the bottom, there are foundation enablers. We have to do compliance. We have found around the world, and one of the great case studies is Singapore, where we just have to make the trains run on time. We have to do the day-to-day. -day. We have to use analytics, and I've talked about that. The evolution of analytics to interpret data that drives impact. We have to use technology. I've talked about the disruptions there to use technology as an integrator and connection. But in the middle, we found that competencies are not the goal. The impact of the competencies are the goal. Here's what we found. Being a credible activist at the right enables me to get invited to the business meeting. So if I'm a credible activist, I get invited. I get connected. I get to talk to people. If I'm not trusted, people don't want me in the meeting. But how do I deliver real value? Paradox Navigator helps me build business value. In fact, that's a fascinating finding that, that I hope in the future we can discuss. Again, we'll do it at the summit in Brussels in November. Can I manage the inherent tensions that Paradox requires? The strategic positioner allows me to drive stakeholders. And strategic positioner is the confidence that helps me win with the marketplace. Again. Here's a summary of our findings. What are the overall competencies? There's nine general ones, three core drivers, three strategic. To get invited to the business table, you have to, we have to be a credible activist. To represent stakeholders, we need to manage employees inside. But if it's outside, we need to be a strategic positioner. And I'll go in more detail. How do you create value? Navigate paradox. And then back to the finding I talked about, the department has four times the impact of the individual. With that in mind, we decided in this webinar to give you the evolution of being a strategic position. How do I, as an HR business partner, in that whole logic, be a strategic position? Here's what we found. Again, the disruption and the evolution. We have to know the language of the business. Finance, marketing. Um, I could demonstrate what that means in terms of language. Moi, j'habite à Montréal pour trois ans. Donc, j'ai dû parler en français pour ces trois ans. I've just demonstrated I can speak bad French. <laughs> um, but I speak enough of the language of business to get around. I lived in Montreal for three years. I spoke French. That's the level of language. I don't have to be 100% fluent in French to get by in Montreal. I don't have to be 100% fluent in business to get by in business. I don't have to know enough about business to be the chief financial officer, but I have to know enough about the language to have a conversation. We in HR should know the language of business. Second, to be a strategic positioner, I should know how my company makes money. 
Money is a goal of business. It's one of the guardrails of business success. How do we make money and what is our strategy? What differentiates us? Where do we play? How do we win? Third, I need to understand my stakeholders. Part of being a strategic positioner is understanding our customers, who they are, why they buy. It's understanding our investors, either debt or equity, how they invest in our company and how we can build that investment. Understanding our communities. Strategic positioners understand the, the context in which strategy occurs. That's the fourth level. The social, technical, economic, political conditions. And again, a good strategic positioner starts with basic business knowledge, strategy, stakeholders, and context. And when I'm in HR and can do those things, I add incredible value. 